Hi there, it's Ilan with another video. Welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome. I wanted to talk today about makeup aesthetics, and what I wanted to talk about specifically is palette design. And I'm not talking so much about the contents of the palette, which that could be a whole video in and of itself. But I have talked before on this channel about the fact that to me, the design of a palette really matters. And I've, I've talked about uh, as well, like some products, the inside of the product that I very much like, but the outside of the product as in the packaging, I don't so much care for. And so here today, I wanted to talk about some of the brands that I own that I like the most for the packaging, the aesthetics of their packaging. Now, there are a couple of products uh, that I have recently acquired that really prompted this video. Uh, one of them I have here and another one I do not have because it is coming to me. It was part of this week's Weekly Wow at Sephora and that is the Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. That is a palette, a face palette that I have been coveting for months and it has now come on 50% off. And I knew I was not going to pay full price for it, but now that it is 50% off, I will definitely get it. The rose gold packaging is beautiful and the contents, I mean, it's only six pans of 4.5 grams. So it's not a whole lot of product, but at $30 Canadian, it makes sense. And, and like I said, the aesthetics of the packaging are absolutely beautiful. The other product that has made me think of doing this video is part of the um, Smashbox and Vlada collection. In this case, it is the Petal Metal Highlighter. And I also have one of the Always On uh, liquid lipsticks from that same collection. So this is, this is the Always On. <laughs> Shows fingerprints, doesn't it? All this gold packaging, rose gold packaging. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, liquid lipstick. And each one of the products has this, uh, the logo on it. And this one is the Always On Petal Metal Liquid Lipstick. And it is a matte metallic. And the color that I got is the In Bloom color. Now, I mentioned the packaging on the highlighter. It's the beautiful embossed highlighter and if we take a look at the inside the actual product the highlighter itself is absolutely beautiful with the print of the rose in it and the compact itself beautiful mirror and the compact itself has the embossing as well it is really, really well done. And I intend to use this packaging once the highlighter is all uh, done. And it, it looks like a beautiful color and it's a color I don't have at all in my collection. So I'm happy with that. But it was, it was under $30 and looking at the packaging, I realize it's one highlighter, but it is, it's an absolutely luxurious package. And I love, like I said, the aesthetics of it. And I intend to use because can you see how deep the tray is? I intend to use it as a powder compact afterwards. I know I can, I will be able to repurpose it and I'm very excited about that. Uh, beautiful, beautiful packaging and I will make great use of it. And that series or that um, collection is I think very, unusual for Smashbox. I haven't found their aesthetic to be, I found their aesthetic to be very uh, utilitarian, you know, black palettes, a uh, hard uh, plastic case, just very simple and, and uh, useful protecting the product, but I haven't found the Smashbox brand to have beautiful packaging. Th this Vlada collection really blew me away. Now, there are some brands that are very consistent and then there are some brands that like Smashbox had this collection that just wowed me and and that made me uh, get their products. So one company that is uh, very consistent in their aesthetic is Hourglass and 
basically all of their products are very sleek and beautiful and so this is just uh, the ambient uh, lighting powder incandescent light dim light and radiant light palette very very nice packaging very it, beautiful I, I it make, makes makes me think a little bit about hourglass being to make up what apple is to computers this the aesthetic is clean simple no extra bells and whistles that don't need to be there very very clean lines similar to hourglass i really enjoy some of the becca packaging so i have a couple of items here one of them is this is a mini but this is the becca opal highlighter and I think that they do a very good job of this type of packaging. I think it's very pretty, but, but very clean, simple, very similar to Hourglass. And then here is one of the liquid crystal lip toppers uh, called Glow Gloss. So, you know, the rounded end is beautiful. It fits with the, the rounded theme for Becca. And then you've got the rounded end of the gloss that matches the top of the highlighters. I mean, that kind of attention to detail and consistency in the brand is beautiful, especially when a brand tends to keep things simple. To see consistency from one package to another it just makes the whole collection very sleek. Now, um, one company that I have just recently appreciated the aesthetics for or of is Too Faced. And Too Faced, I've talked about them before. I don't appreciate the fact that they seem childish on one hand and over-sexualized on the other. And this is a perfect example of both in one, the sweet peach. Uh, we know what the, the peach emoji means. And, uh, and it's a, it is a relatively childish packaging, although it's not anywhere near as childish as some of their other packaging. And the, the packaging itself is, is feels cheap to me, small mirror, awkward. Um, and this has turned out to be one of my favorite palettes, but, but it is despite the aesthetics. I absolutely hate this packaging. However, one thing that has really impressed me about Too Faced's packaging, Too Faced's packaging, say that three times, Too Faced's packaging, is this new packaging and they've got this just peachy and they did the uh, naturalize i think um collection i don't have any of those and they've also done the white peach in this there's a very nice clasp on the end it closes nicely magnetically and the inside of the packaging is very very well done with a very large mirror as well they really make me think of the tart palettes. This is the tartlet, there's the tartlet in bloom, there's the toasted, all very similar in nature to what I just showed you from Too Faced. So tartlet was doing this uh, well before Too Faced and they are another brand that I really appreciate that the palette size is uniform from one to the next um, and the the aesthetics of the palette is very nice. Now one of the things for this tartlet series is that it does have closure which the just peachy does not but but the 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 uh, gold inlay in the palette the mirror the full size of the palette all very very nice and tart also even though it had the clay play in the tart in the tart <laughs> the clay play in the cardboard packaging it still had a very beautiful aesthetic to the packaging with the gold inside and the very large mirror again very very nice and so this this packaging will go very very well with the Park Avenue Princess uh, chisel palette it's beautiful uh, another one along with this is Tarte's magnetic palettes now they have a number of magnetic palettes but one of them that I'm was super excited about and I showed it in a previous haul is this one it's very sturdy outside and I think they still have this one they have a couple of other designs on their site but this and the, the, um, the Tarte logo on the front and then the size of the palette is quite generous inside. They also have some smaller ones, but this, this palette I have been very, very impressed with as a magnetic palette. It does not have a clear cover, but I don't care. This is, this is beautiful. And for me personally, it actually matches all of the other, the three other, I guess, 
I was going to call them makeup bags, but there are two smaller bags in a train case that I have uh, that matches this. And I'll see if I can insert a picture of those for you so you can see what I mean. But I ended up uh, picking up two of these just because of how sturdy and beautiful these are. Very, it was very, very happy with them. Now, one that really surprised me and inspired me as well from Smashbox is this um, Legendary Lipsticks line. And I got this, um, I guess it was a holiday kit, like a vault of seven of these Legendary Lipsticks. And I was waiting to get some of these because <clears throat> I just couldn't pay $28 each. But what got me for the aesthetics here was this packaging that the vault came in. It is beautiful. Now, I don't normally show vaults for lipsticks in the background here. It's usually palettes, but you will have seen this in previous videos on a regular basis because I find this so beautiful that even though it is not a palette, it will show up in my palette display at the back just because I find the aesthetics to be extremely inspiring and uh, and helps me with my creativity. So I this packaging gets absolute kudos. I think it's beautiful. A brand that really surprised me, I think it was last year's holiday collection, is the Estate Edit. And they came up with this holiday palette collection. One side was supposed to be a face palette, although I've never used it for that. I've always used it for eyes. And then on the other side, it is supposed to be the eyeshadow palette. The colors are, are gorgeous. But what got me is the, well, I'll just show you again. I mean, look at the pan design. Very innovative. The finish on the product, this limited edition product, is beautiful. The finish on each side is gorgeous. I will often put this one just like this on the shelf back here. You may see it in some videos. And then because they're complementary or sister palettes, they are magnetized. I have rarely seen something like that. The only thing that I've seen similar, and maybe I've been under a rock somewhere, is the Kat Von D and Too Faced collab, which I thought the packaging was, was ugly as heck. But at least the, the, that magnetized idea was there as well. I, I absolutely love that packaging. I think the SD Edit line in, in general had nice packaging, and it's too bad that they just they just couldn't stick around. I also want to give an honorable uh, mention to Buxom and it's 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 very rare to have now this palette is beautiful not just because there's leopard print because i like the suede seduction as well as the other couple and even the the um default palette that um you can use at buxom to create your own palette what i like about this palette is that for it's it's for what it is it is six shadows and you see the shadows on the back of the packaging which is very useful it is very well put together. I'll just get rid of the brush here for a second. But when you look at it, there is no space wasted for the shadows. You get six shadows. This one is repressed, it just it didn't come like that. And then you also have a mirror that is the same size as the palette, just like every other one that I've shown you here, except for that I pointed out in the uh, Sweet Peach palette that it has a dinky little mirror. And that's not a packaging I like, so that goes. But all of the other palettes have a, a, a mirror the size of the palette, which which I think is is a, is a must. I think it, it adds to the aesthetic a great deal. But another thing about the Buxom palette that I really appreciate is not only is it beautiful, has a proper clasp, but it also has a very simple way to change out the shadows. And I think that that is just absolute genius and it is secure, it works really well, and it is a design that I have high esteem for. I just wish they would fix the brush. And I'm also going to bring in a brand that I think does it well pretty much through and through. I think Tarte does a very, very good job, but I'm going to say that at least for now, for what I have seen, Urban Decay really takes the cake when it comes to packaging. Uh, a great deal for their limited edition products, but I would say their whole Naked line also does a, a great job. So that all the Naked palettes tend to be quite beautiful. Uh, honorable mention to the Naked Heat and the Naked Smoky. I think they really hit it out of the park with those. Uh, and the Naked Ultimate Basics, they did a fantastic job with this packaging. 
it's 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 definitely memorable um, full size mirror of course as I always said I like and then the aesthetics inside with the cool and the warmer tones is done very very well another one that is similar to the naked ultimate basics is the full spectrum the front of the palette is beautiful with the embossed uh, urban decay logo and very colorful logo and on the inside i just took out the brush on the inside again full size mirror beautiful and then the shadows are organized again very very well by color um, and the ultimate uh, naked naked ultimate basics very much took uh, from this palette and uh, and again the aesthetics are extremely pleasing to the eye it's just it's so nice to have not only a utilitarian product but they made they took the time to make it beautiful at the same time a few other ones because they're all so unique I want to show you a few other examples the urban uh, decay full and uh, not sorry not full spectrum this was the urban spectrum this is actually a meant to be a jewelry case now it's not the most functional but there is the full size mirror um, in here and you will also see that it has the hole here and it has the hole here because you are able to take this out and underneath there is a velvet bottom so that it really can become a jewelry case and I thought that that was I made it for a beautiful gift and also this is one just like the SD edit that I tend to put I'll put it there right now on the back shelf just for display because of the the beautiful edging on the same lines of being creative with the packaging at every single release uh, the Jean-Michel Basquiat collection was beautiful there's also a face palette that I have here I just grabbed everything because I thought it was absolutely beautiful and they understand how beautiful their aesthetics are they even put a hole in the back so that you can hang it on your wall because I mean it has a, a canvas finish they did such a good job and the each one of the palettes has its own distinct view and they they followed the the direction of the palette uh, of the the um, canvas they were uh, replicating here and again the artwork even follows on the inside. The last palette from Urban Decay I want to show you is, uh, there was one holiday collection in here already and here's another one. And it is the Heavy Metals um, packaging. Now that it is hard to show on camera because it is very blinding. I will try to cover the mirror, but here is the palette itself. And some folks have said the packaging is cumbersome and, uh, and kind of weird. And I, I, I agree. But I just think that it is innovative and I tend to put it like this in my display because this packaging is just, it's beautiful and I want to, I just, I just am drawn to display it. I think it just looks beautiful. Uh, purple is my favorite color, so I'm definitely biased. But when I saw it come out, I was really hoping that it would go on sale because um, that $60 was just too, too, <laughs> too rich for my blood. But I'm so, so pleased that I had it, have it in my collection. Um, and then one last one is just, it's an older product from Urban Decay, but I've never seen a gloss like this. So this is the Revolutions gloss line that they had. This is a, an older product, but like even the packaging for this gloss is beautiful and there's a lot of attention to detail. I mean, this line, the creativity of the product releases you you never know what you're going to get next and it's very exciting to see what the next uh, the next iteration of the brand will be now when they do come out with a line they do tend to standardize the packaging from one release to another which i really appreciate for example that would be the case with the the naked series the pa the naked palettes uh, that has been very nice because they are uh, stackable tartlet has done uh, the same thing uh, and a few other brands have also done the, the same kind of standard format. Anastasia is, is one that comes to mind. But I'm hoping that I have shared with you enough of what I consider to be better um, designed and more appealing makeup palettes. And I focused more on palettes than anything else in this discussion because I think palettes are the ones where we may be the most 
sensitive to the design concept for a brand. I hope you found this video enjoyable and hopefully somewhat informative. I would love to hear what your favorite palette aesthetics or makeup product aesthetics in general is and why in the comments down below. And if you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you like the content on this channel in general, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Thank you for your time today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.